Hey YouTube, welcome back to my TypeScript series. In this video, we'll be going over functions. So functions are probably the most fundamental building block of any programming language. It makes our code clean, and without functions, our code would be a mess. Let's say we had a array of students, Jeff, Bob, and Joe. And we wanted to loop through these students and print them. So I'm going to create a basic for loop. And let's print out the students array at the ith index. And let's just run this to make sure it works. Compile it, run the JavaScript with node. And we get our names. What happens if deep down we write some code and we want to repeat that behavior? If we want to print the names again without functions, we would have to duplicate the behavior here. So it's very manual and it takes a lot of work for us to duplicate the behavior. So I will compile TypeScript and run it and we get our behavior but the problem is that we had to copy and paste so that's going to be very annoying if we wanted to do it for the third time. The other problem with not using functions is what if I wanted to change the behavior such that I wanted to print the names of the students but in their uppercase version. So I could, you know, have two uppercase. But then the problem is, let's say I do it for the first uh, instance of behavior, but I don't do it for the second and third. As you can see, when we copy and paste code with the same behavior, it's very error prone because I am not updating the behavior in all instances of where the behavior is in the code. So let's clear this and compile it. Whoops. As you can see, our first set of names got capitalized, but we forgot to do the same thing for the second and third times we were looping through the students array. So to solve this, of course, you want to use a function. Functions are great for code reuse, and we just pop this code into a function. You've already seen it in the previous videos, but I'm just being a bit more explicit on the benefits of functions. So, you know, a function called print students, which takes in the students array, and it's going to not return anything. And let's see, what am I doing wrong here? This is a function expression. Students refers to a value, but it's, oh, whoops, string array. And there we go. So we can call print students. And then let's say, you know, sometime passes in our code and we want to call that again. We can call it again. So let's compile and let's run node and awesome. You get a nice reusable behavior and the benefit, the other benefit is that if you wanted to change it, you only have to change it in one place. And this is the whole entire benefit of functions. So as we've seen in previous videos, we can create types for the parameters of our functions to create function signatures and contracts. Let's say I have a simple add function and I expect the two the first two parameters a and b to be numbers and I'm going to return my number and I return the sum. But you can also here, this is the function itself. We're typing the function expression in JavaScript. There, there are two ways to create functions, either declaring them or expressing them. If you don't know the difference, 
I suggest you to look that up on your own because there are a lot of resources online. But here, this is a function expression and we type the function expression itself. And because of that, TypeScript infers the type of the add variable to be a function with the signature that we have created. A is a number, B is a number, and this returns a number. But what we can also do is actually create a function type explicitly. So if we have add, we can say this type of variable is a function, and we do something similar. And because of that, now we explicitly say that this type of variable is indeed a function with this signature. And then we can implement it uh, with the actual implementation. Let's return to number. So here we're also explicit, implicitly, we're, we're also typing the function expression as well. But this is a little bit redundant because we're doing this twice. So we can actually, before we had the inference work the other way around. Whereas um, in this example, the type of this was being inferred from the right-hand side. But we can also have the, the value of the right-hand side be inferred from the type declaration on the left-hand side. So here, I'm not typing A and B but TypeScript still knows that A is a number and B is a number. And that's because this value on the right-hand side of the equal signs, this function expression is, TypeScript is, is inferring that the type of these parameters must be a number and a number because we're essentially assigning it to the add variable. The benefit of creating function types like this instead of instead of letting TypeScript infer it from the right-hand side. The benefit of creating types like this on the left-hand side is function reuse. So let's say you wanted to reuse the variable and you wanted to do something else. Let's say in this case, I don't return a number, I return a string. TypeScript will give me a type error saying that you cannot assign, you type string is not assignable to type number. We can't return it. However, the biggest benefit that I see with function types is creating multiple functions with the same signature. So here we are explicitly annotating the type of this variable in line, but we can also create function types with interfaces. So I'm an interface and I have an add. I want to type this adder function. Let me just actually redo this and show you that we can extract this out. So right here, this is the type of the variable. And as you can see, we actually get type errors because right now it's implicitly any. So we can create the function type with interfaces by creating a property on the interface with the function type. And then we say add is an adder. And of course, we get type safety. So the benefit with, with function types is that when you are creating multiple functions with the same signature, it's less bloated. So let's say I wanted to create a set of binary functions like adding and subtracting, multiplying and dividing. If I have an add function, so let's actually change this first to binary function. And a binary function is a function that operates on two, two operators, A and B, and returns a number. So I know add will be a binary function and take an A and B and returns A plus B. And we get type safety, of course, because we extract the type of the function into this. And we can do the same thing with subtract. Binary function is a and b and returns a minus b. And we get type safety. As you can see with subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, they all have the same type. 
multiply binary function a times b and the same thing can be said for divide. So by using function types, we get nice code reuse. And the last thing I wanted to mention is a technique that will help you with functions and TypeScript. And this technique is pulled from the Efficient TypeScript book, which I highly recommend for you to level up your TypeScript. And this is item 11. So item 11 says to always type the return type of functions. Let's say I have a function called logger, which just logs hello world. And the return type is inferred, and it's a, TypeScript infers the return type of this function, which is void. So if we hover over this function, you can see that this function returns void. It infers the value, the type of the value from the function. And then we can hover over the function, and you can see it gets assigned the type a function that returns void. But, so let's say this is the correct contract of the function. But if I return a number, nothing's going to stop TypeScript from, from saying, okay, now the function it returns a number. And this in, TypeScript infers that the return type is a number. So when you're creating functions, before creating the implement, before working on the implementation, you should always type your return type the contract of the function to make sure that the contract it works. So here I'm saying that this function should always return void, which really means not to return anything. So then, okay, I do my coding, I'm gonna log my hello world, and then that's fine. And let's say when another developer comes to this file and he tries to, he or she tries to return a number, they're gonna get a type error because we've set the contract explicitly first. So always explicitly type your function return type.